All right. So, yeah, just, uh, you know, excited today to announce the newest member of our coaching staff, Ernie Ziegler. Um, you know, when we had the opening on our staff, uh, you know, we had an extensive search, and I talked to probably 20 different guys from around the country. There was a lot of interest in this position. Uh, you know, for me, Ernie checks all the boxes of what we were looking for, specifically, uh, you know, a guy that has a proven track record uh, on the recruiting trail, uh, built several top 10 recruiting classes, uh, you know, probably most notably the runner-up team in the NCAA tournament uh, that lost to Florida uh, back in 06. Uh, did a great job uh, recruiting at uh, really every stop that he's had, including his last stint at Mississippi State. Uh, you know, obviously being a head coach, sitting in my chair, uh, was also very attractive to me. Uh, somebody that's been there uh, in the heat of the moment, uh, built teams, built game plans, uh, proven in the player development category as well. So, you know, when you go around and, and you make calls and you, you do different things as far as background check and talking to multiple people, there wasn't one person that I found that said one negative thing about Ernie. Uh, he's a very well respected person in this business and he's going to bring uh, a lot of experience to our team. So, you know, just could not be more excited about, uh, about the addition of Ernie and uh, he's going to fit in very well with, uh, with the group that we have. Yeah, it, it, it came up pretty quickly, and he, he was he was aggressive in uh, in reaching out early, you know, which which I certainly appreciated, and uh, you know, obviously the experience that he's had and the different people that he has worked for that I have a great deal of respect for, uh, you know, I talked to them on multiple occasions. So you know, again, even you know the, the coaching candidates that reached out to me, uh, you know, a number of them reached out after the news broke. A couple days ago, that Ernie was the guy, and just you know, explained to me how how great of a hire that was, and that doesn't happen very often. You know, when when you miss out on an opportunity to join the staff, uh, you know, for them to continue to reach out. You know, a couple of them said that he was a mentor to them uh, in this business as well. So you know, again, just everything I was looking for, Ernie checked every box. It's important. I mean, most of those guys think it's easy and, you know, they sit there and they give you every recommendation, but until you've actually sat in that chair, um, you know, you, you just and have that, you know, experience of making those split second, uh, you know, decisions in the heat of the moment. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard. You know, I've got a couple guys that, that have filled that now with Nate uh, being a head coach of the Windy City uh, Bulls, the inaugural season of, uh, of the G League affiliate with the Bulls when we were in Chicago. Uh, and now Ernie with six years of experience at Central Michigan. And then, uh, you know, again, just the different people that he's worked with. He's got a lot of different things that he can bring to the table as far as philosophy. Uh, you know, talk about his experience of, you know, I talk about what his strength is, offense, defense. And they said, really, he can do it all. Uh, so, again, another, uh, you know, thing that was very attractive about Ernie as a, as a potential hire. Yeah, you, you always talk about, you know, where, where their base, where, where they've gotten, um, you know, the majority of the players. And, you know, with Ernie, he obviously, you know, growing up in Detroit, he's, he's very connected in the Midwest, uh, but also just all the different places he's been. Uh, he's been in the East Coast at Pitt. He's been, you know, obviously in the West Coast in Southern California uh, with UCLA and now an area that's coming into our league with the addition of USC and UCLA. Uh, Texas is, uh, is an area that he is... Um, uh, you know, very connected in as well. So, uh, you know, internationally, Alfred Aboya uh, was one of the best players on his UCLA teams, uh, has a lot of connections right now with NBA Africa where he's running, uh, running that program. So, you know, just everywhere. He, he, uh, he, you know, from a recruiting standpoint, to be able to get the caliber of player that we're looking for and that we need, uh, you know, he's not just connected in one area. It's uh, not only in the U.S., but, uh, but globally as well. Yeah, I did. I, t I talked to Ben uh, a couple different times and just absolutely raved about him. Um, you know, obviously, when you go to different places and you continue to bring the guy with you, um, you know, there, there's good feelings there. Uh, you know, with Ben's track record with what he's accomplished, you know, to talk about Ernie, you know, being the guy that was a huge part of their success uh, certainly resonated very well with me. And, you know, he's again, when, when you played in the Final Four, you know, you're looking for guys not only with, with our players, with our roster now of having players that have played 
in the postseason have had success winning conference championships, playing in the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, there's no, nothing more powerful than playing for a national championship and playing in that championship game, which he had a huge part in that with game planning, with, uh, with the players who are on that roster. Um, so again, proven track record, a proven winner. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we, we haven't had our team on campus. Uh, yesterday was Ernie's first day uh, with us. But, um, you know, he, listen, he's worked with everybody. His, his son was a, a, a heck of a player uh, that was a guard. So, you know, he certainly has plenty of experience in the backcourt as well. But I, I feel really good about where we are from a player development standpoint. I'm, you know, very involved uh, with that as well. So I, I, from an overall staff standpoint, I feel really good about player development right now. Thank you, guys.